Baseball finally back here in Boiling Springs, North Carolina. Brendan Boylan here alongside first-year head coach Jim Chester. Coach, first year at the Division I level, what should these Gardner-Webb fans know about you and your staff and what you bring to the table? Well, I think what uh, we're going to see most this year is our young men are going to, you know, we believe play at a very high level. Um, you know, they're, they're very selfless. Uh, they're worried more about the, their teammates than they are about themselves. Um, we've practiced at a very high level all year long. Um, and we've been blue collar since we started back in August. So I think that uh, the Gardner-Webb baseball fans are going to see a group of young men that are really hungry to get out there and start this season. Talking about those young men, 17 freshmen, plenty of returners onto this roster. Who's a few guys that have really stuck out to you since you've been here in June? Well, I, uh, I, I talked to everybody yesterday about uh, all of our young men play a, are a piece of the puzzle uh, starting tomorrow. And uh, we've got a lot of different pieces that can do a lot of different things. But, you know, we have 12 seniors, and uh, they've been the core of what we've been doing here since, um, you know, late August. So I'm really excited to see these guys take the field tomorrow. Um, you know, Landon Mitchell's going tomorrow, who has a lot of weekend experience here at Gardner-Webb. Uh, we also have Isaac Campbell pitching on Saturday, who's got a lot of experience um, pitching on the weekend for the running Bulldogs. Uh, ben Lascaluto is a junior shortstop that's a uh, – very special player. We think he's going to do some great things for us this year. Also, Cam Pierce, he's a graduate transfer. Uh, he's a super athletic kid that we think is going to have a great season. So we're just really excited from all ends of the game to really get going tomorrow. And right before we got on air, we talked about it. It's been a long time since Gardner Webb Baseball has been here at John Henry Moss, spending the whole season last year uh, over in Shelby playing at the high school. We have the new turf we're standing on. How does the turf look? And why should, be, why should the fans be excited to return here to John Henry Moss? Uh, turf looks great. Um, and, you know, we've had, I don't know, six, seven inches of rain here over the last 10 days. And, uh, you know, we're dry as a bone, as you can see out here. So, I mean, it's, it's been a great asset to our program. And to be able to go and just, you know, we're able to develop every single day and do what we need to do to get ready for the season. Just what a blessing for the program. Um, Hats off to our administration, Dr. Downs, Chuck Birch, uh, just been able to get this done, and uh, just, just just been a great, great thing for the program. And finally, final thoughts before opening day tomorrow. Well, uh, and, and nothing too much. All I know is the uh, the mound's still 60 feet six inches away from uh, home plate. The bases are 90 feet apart. Uh, I know we've put the time in. I know we've put the work in, and I know our culture's in a great place. And it's just, it's go time. Opening day right here at John Henry Moss tomorrow, Valentine's Day, February 14th. For more information about Coach Chester, his team moving into the 2020 baseball season, check out GWSports.com.